Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Saturday, September 14th, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with the premiere episode of WWE SmackDown on the USA Network, broadcast live from the Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle. In the closing segment, WWE Champion Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns agreed to team up at Bad Blood against Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu of the Bloodline. They both signed the contract for the match after fighting off an attack from Fatu, Sokoa, Tamatanga, and Tongaloa. Earlier tonight, Cody Rhodes said his business with the Bloodline was done. Apparently not. Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes have inked the contract. And as you mentioned earlier, Corey, so did the Bloodline. The opening match of the show was a WWE Championship match in a steel cage with Rhodes successfully defending against Sokoa. Keep summoning the will. Went for the spike. Crossroads by Cody. Cover. Rhodes retains the championship. Defining win for Cody Rhodes. your winner. And still the undisputed WWE. Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! What a gutsy performance by the champion! The Bloodline attacked Rhodes after the match with Reigns making the save. Paul Levesque opened the show by welcoming fans, making mention of the 25th anniversary of SmackDown and facing The Rock on the first episode back in 1999. In other results on the program, Meechin defeated Piper Niven, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton beat A-Town Down Under, and Andrade pinned Carmelo Hayes to take a 3-2 lead in their last five matches. AEW presented Rampage last night on TNT, featuring matches taped Wednesday at the Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. Kanosuke Takeshita defeated Action Andretti in the main event. In other results, Harley Cameron and Soraya beat former NWA Women's Tag Team Champions Allison Kay and Marty Bell. Roderick Strong beat Beef, Camille squashed Robin Renegade, and the conglomeration topped the Dark Order in the opener. Turning to Mexico, Chris Jericho made his first appearance inside Arena Mexico since 1995, falling to Mystico in the main event of last night's CMLL 91st anniversary show. Mystico won the best of three falls match, two falls to one, submitting Jericho with the La Mystica in the final round. In other selected results, Zeusis knocked off Willow Nightingale to win the CMLL World Women's title. Euphoria lost his mask in a four-way elimination bout, which also included Hesha Cero, Valiente, and Esfinge. And in a six-man tag team match, Atlantis Jr., Ultimo Guerrero, and Volador Jr. defeated Orange Cassidy, Rocky Romero, and Satoshi Kojima. And we close with TNA Wrestling, which presented the 2024 edition of Victory Road last night on pay-per-view from the Boeing Center in San Antonio, Texas. In the main event, Nick Nemeth made his fourth successful defense of the TNA world title, pitting Moose in 19 minutes and 39 seconds following his Danger Zone finisher. Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers were ejected for interfering on Moose's behalf, then were clotheslined by JBL, who made another surprise TNA appearance. Jordan Grace was also successful in her defense of the Knockouts World title against NXT's Wendy Chu. Following the match, both Chu and Rosemary attacked Grace, putting her out. Three title changes occurred on the show, with Myers and Edwards winning the TNA World Tag Team title from Ace Austin and Chris Bay, Speedball Mike Bailey taking the X Division title from Zachary Wentz, and Danny Luna and Jody Threat emerging from their match with Masha Slamovich and Tasha Steeles as the new Knockouts Tag Team Champions. Steeles was a replacement for the injured Alicia Edwards. Both Steele and Edwards turned on Slamovich after the title loss. Whoa, Slamovich! Hey, careful now, careful now. You can't handle Lich like that. Oh, now Steeles drops Slamovich! Get it. Get it. 
Well, if nothing else, Tom, it's proof that Alicia Edwards picked the right person to back her up. Yeah, clearly it pays to trust the system. In other results, Joe Henry beat Josh Alexander, and the Hardy Boys beat Casey Navarro and AJ Francis in the opener. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The wrestling news is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the wrestling newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.